Okay, now we got the other side started. We're going to go back to this side. And again, I'm just going to stick the bolt supply through the longer one they give you. Get the gasket in there. Like I say, you got confined area, so it makes it a little bit tougher to get them on there. Okay. We got that one started now. Okay, so again, I'm just going to take it through, screw it into the intake again. And the gas is going to flop around. You might have to move this a little bit. That's why everything's all loose right now. So just screw that in. It's always good to go as far as you can with your finger on the bottom side because it's a little tougher because they don't leave as much room. So pull the. We got kind of fortunate on that side because the gasket's still stuck. So now we're going to pull this one back. Okay, we got that back. Then again, we're going to use a spacer that we have for the other side, right here, right there. okay, again we're going to drop this in there, again with this along the bolt, so just lay that down in there, set in there, and then again with the bolt provided, we'll go through this top half, just make sure you're not tearing the gasket, okay, get that one started, now we got a good start. What I always do on these is I'll tighten these down first. And when you do that, it's nice to have a little screwdriver or a buddy that can help you because these are a little tougher here. Um, I'll pull this in here a little bit and I'll show you. You want to leave that a little bit loose there so you can move that. And then what I do with a smaller screwdriver, let me grab my small screwdriver here. We're going to lift that adapter spacer up. And that way we can bring that bottom one in a little. And see what I'm saying is, and the reason we use this is because this isn't exactly set perfect. They, they make this spacer so you can adjust it a little bit. So I'll kind of just get a little screwdriver in and pull it up. Just to line that a gasket up a little bit. Obviously it's harder to do the bottom half, so what I do is just line it up as I best I can here. This back half's pretty fine. The gasket they use is pretty thick. But this one here is a little bit thinner, so I'll just bring this adapter up and then just kind of lock that down a little bit on this top side to hold that spacer up. And if you see, you kind of seen it move up a little bit there, so that definitely does make it a little easier and then the bottom's fine. And if we move across here on the other side, I'll show you the same thing. And again, just going through some fine steps here because this is a little difficult. So you'll just take a screwdriver and hold it. You can kind of see the gasket held out there a little. Just kind of push it in a little bit. Hold that up. I kind of got four. Oh, just dropped on me. So let's bring this up. So everything's not perfect on it. It does take some trial and error on these. So I got that up. I'm going to hold that screwdriver in there this time. I'm going to bring this in just to kind of hold it in place there. Now we don't have to worry about that falling. And she just fell on me a little bit. Let's bring this back up again. There we go. Now we got it falling. So that's what I'm saying. It's not a perfect scenario. We're giving you, I mean, because it is a little difficult, you know, to hold that. It's nice to have your buddy to help you. So, all right, we'll get on the next step here in a second.